Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you one of my favorite Malphite builds for handling champions that you really just can't interact with because they have way too much self-healing. Volibear is a great example and so is Alawi to where you can't kill them solo ever. It's never gonna happen. You're gonna have to out-team fight them and that's fine. To do this, you want lots of mana. We have Arcane for the poke and damage, Mana Flow for the mana, Transcendent Scorch with free boots because we're not gonna have a lot of gold. We're not gonna get any kills in lane. With Biscuits. Biscuits give health and mana. Very important. Double AP and health. First item rush, we have tier. We're gonna try to stack tier and mana flow as much as we can before our first recall teleport. We have ignite. That way we don't have to build hill cut. I don't like building thorn mill for the most part, unless the enemy teams are AD heavy, which they could have gone AP Shaco. They have Voitop, which is magic damage, their mid magic damage, their force magic damage. So I didn't want to have to rely on the thorn mill. So for this build, we are gonna be rushing down a Rod of Ages first item. After Rod of Aegis, we'll have our tier item complete, which you could go for Archangel or for Winter's Approach. I think Winter's is, I think they're both good on Malphite, but when you're the primary frontline for your team, Archangel's is worse. So we'll go for Winter's, which is insanely cheap, only 2,400 gold. I don't know why it's that inexpensive. The shield on Winter's gets bigger the more mana you have, so we will be picking up a Malignance and a Frozen Heart as well. And every time our Q is up, we don't necessarily want to use it before our first back unless our mana flow and arcane are also up this way we don't just run out of mana immediately we're at least getting mana flow done which gives us more mana and once mana flow is full stacked it gives us a constant trickle of mana as well very very important to get that trickle so we see our mana flows up arcane's about to be up get the q down it looks like he's trying to kind of push me off the wave there once we get w last hit he's going to get easier boop that minion's too close. Oof. Last hitting with tier can be a little bit tricky. This guy's healing a lot. Like way too much. Oh, he took a turret shot for that. I don't know about that one. Get him with a Q. A little auto W reset. Very nice. W is incredibly inexpensive and so freaking good for pushing waves. Don't really want to be missing CS right now. Looks like Volibear must have warded. I don't even remember him warding is the thing. Oh, this minion is really pushing through. He wanted to get hit by a turret. We can auto W reset if this guy creeps through. His health was weird if I didn't auto him there. Tied up CS with Volibear. I don't know where the heck this guy is. He's just missing. It's possible he reset, I guess. So I'll just push. We'll max our Q first. Walk in the middle, hit it with an E. Got it in the Q auto. Couldn't quite get it. Shaco's not gonna be able to fight Brand at all. Shaco's such a weak jungler these days. I kind of want to stick around to hit this guy with mana flows. I have no clue where Volley's out though. Okay, there he is. Let's get some mana flows off this guy. Float in the Q, run away. He can't even really threaten our shield that much. Our shield comes back. We don't even have to think about our passive too much. Stacking up tier, stacking up mana flow. I can't even see the health of that minion. His big old head's blocking it. We'll wait for his shield to end, then we'll hit him. He's missing minions right now. That's not really worth for him. Oh, my wave isn't quite crashing. It's kind of awkward. A little bit awkward. I'm going to go for Rod here. TP on back. We have the Ignite. He has tier as well for the mana spam. That's kind of interesting. We're seeing double tier champs top. <laughs> I can try to bait this. I don't know if he's going to fall for it though. Yeah, he's not. He's just not falling for it. It is what it is. Brand can just go clear or whatever. This guy's gonna be hard to kill with Malphite until I'm six, basically. He's just refusing to interact with me for the most part. Now, every time our queue's up, since our first back, we can spam it. I don't really have to wait for Mana Flow or Arcane because we have so much mana, we might as well dump it. I don't know why this guy's healing so much. I don't even think he's doubling the same minion. I don't think that's what's going on. Boop. I am up CS, that's kind of cool. 
can rotate over here to the brand, help him out if need be. My ultimate's still pretty far off. This guy does not want to fight me that much. Oh, he missed his cannon at least. I missed a minion or two there. Auto W and we'll push. Such a nuisance with that. Don't really want to miss any of these. We need as much gold as we can get. See, I'm just not running out of mana now. My mana flow's finished. My biscuits are finished. We could even go in for a W auto at this point. Before, I wasn't wanting to trade autos at all to give him grass procs, but now, this big of an HP advantage. Nice. Drop the E. Yeah, he reset. We'll hit him with some more Qs. Skadoosh. That's the Scorch. That's the uh, Arcane as well. Could try to hit him with uh, something else. Got him with an E, and now we just kind of walk away. I don't think I even need to R away here, to be honest. Yeah, my Q's too good. We'll use a biscuit again. Alright. <laughs> I guess well played to him there. If Shaco doesn't come to dive me, I don't die. I'll chug both potions, get passive up when we're chilling and grilling. Alright, that is actually some damage though. Holy crap. He has tier 2 boots. It's making this kind of icky. Got passive up. I'm close to turret. We'll dodge that out. If his Q's on cooldown, he can't do a whole lot. Clear this out. Auto into E. Drop it with the Q. The W E. Nice. Alright, got most of that. Still up CS, still have my R. Oh, he actually stayed. It's kind of awkward. I'll even pick up a Dark Soul. Mesh has an insane win rate on Malphite. It's got an 84% win rate of over 500 games. Granted, it's mostly because Smurf. Smurf's doing it, but still, 514 games is a pretty solid uh, stat point there. He didn't stay for plate. He wanted reset. That's fine by me. All of my free boots will be a huge power spike. 300, 300 free gold plus it's 10 boots. faster than normal boots. Indefinitely. So we'll be pretty quick. We're going to keep chipping him down. His R will be back up soon because they made it on a lower cooldown. Hit the wave with my E. Auto Q. Mm, Shaco ganks, I do have R to escape. Let's check for control word real quick, and it actually is control word. Good thing I checked. He doesn't actually have magic resist, I don't think. Run away. <laughs> oh my goodness, we'll get him with an E. Auto W reset. We just don't want to let him hit us with his W twice, because then he heals a lot the lower on health he is. Oh, this is bad. Got him with my Q and we're running away. Solid. Oh, that didn't actually kill. Get him with an E auto. Down he goes. Try to get him with the E first because it outranges my auto. We're doing it all from Bush. So he, in theory, doesn't have vision. That was a really bad fight for them to lose there. We were all... Chaco already had a kill. Me and Brand both had zero in that fight. We still win that. Ball fight's so freaking good. Wildly underplayed character. Might actually be good for me to suicide, unironically. It's a recall, I get base speed up. I don't know if someone's about to kill me. Since I'm level eight, it's 20 seconds. If I was a lower level, it would be even shorter. Oh, I'm trolling at dark seal stacks. <laughs> I totally forgot I just got uh, stacks there. That's my bad. I would say if you're level 5 and lower, suiciding for faster base makes sense. This is a little late in the game to have a 20 second recall. We're only at 4 Rift Grub, that's not the sweet spot. You want to have 5. 
That way you get the void mites when you're attacking turrets. They pop out those little guys to help. That was like a York ghoul. We have full item advantage. And our tier's more stacked than his. I can freeze the wave on him here. Oof. That's a yikes. Got him with Q. Wow, his Q range is actually kind of nuts. I can turn and trade while his W's on cooldown. If he hits you, you see how this is big X on my head? That means if he hits me with another uh, W, he gets a fudge load of healing. You got to watch out for it. Let's stop his back. Try to force him to stay a little bit. My pass is almost back up. My ignite's almost back up. That's when we'll look for the kill. Boof. Got it. I don't know where Shake is at, so I'm a little hesitant to actually engage with my Q on a cooldown. Mm, I'm taking a lot of minions here. He is losing more CS than I am, just kind of how his wave's going, but... Look how slow he is. <laughs> so slow. We still their movement speed and speed up. We'll get him with an R, E, auto, W, Q. He hadn't already hit me with a W, so he's not going to heal at all off that. Malphite's so freaking easy to gank for. I can invade jungle with. Shaco may be coming top side. Shaco's not a full item and Brand is, so Brand really shouldn't even need me there. Full item Brand is terrifying to play against. Leandre's power spike is nasty. So we're up two plates on him, we're up CS on him, we're up champion advantage on him. Volley doesn't scale like Malphite does. Malphite has one of the best scalings out of any character in the game, at least for team fighting. He's not a soloist, he's not a split pusher. As a soloist, his strength comes from poking people. Very consistent since his Q625 range. Standard AD carry auto attack range is 550, to give you some perspective, so... AD carries in general, if they can reach him with an auto, he can reach them with a Q. Get him with an E. You gotta have grasp for that. It's not that good though. Got a shield back up. I need my Q. It's kind of zoning me off the minions here a little bit. Hey buddy. Yeah, there you go, buddy. It's not even a full item. Again with the Q and run. I do have Ignite, but I needed another ability to actually kill this guy. I'll go ahead and push because I can straight up kill him. Might as well, right? So much mana. I can pretty much use my abilities nonstop and not run out. She goes on Dragon. I'm free to push. He knew he had to reset. All I need is one Q and Ignite. And he's probably dead there if he doesn't have R. His R does give him some health, so that changes things for sure. Let these guys step up. My passives letting us uh, do this pretty healthy. Auto W reset. I might actually get first turret here. Oh, that sucks. He got me with that. Oh, I wasted my W there. Rip. I can TP on back. I don't have to stay if I don't want to. Oh, we have Camille support. Nice. <laughs> I just realized that. Camille support and rank. That's kind of spicy. Auto and a W. Got it. Got my Q ready as well. Oh, he's shielding himself. That shield last for... Quite some time. Took a turret shot for it. See him getting chipped down. So is his turret. Woo wee! Woo wee! That's some damage. That is some damage, I'll tell you. Got it. Keep chipping. Chip, chip, chip. Making a sculpture over here, big turd sculpture. Slow and steady. Got him with some W damage. It's only 30 though. <laughs> the, the cone damage on W isn't much. It's the on hit after the first W. That's a lot. Or after 
You can, your first auto after casting it. Am I getting ganked here? I'll have to R away. It's worth. They got mouth by R. Shaco exposed himself. The creep that he is. I can TP back. We only have to go for tier two boots. If we don't want to, we don't have to. Dude, this item's only 2,400 gold even with, without tier. That makes no sense. Winter's approach is way too cheap. 2,400 even. Like, the whole thing is just 2,400. Makes no sense. Now whenever I slow someone or CC somebody, I get a fat shield. There's a stupid box here, so I'm going to be slow getting there. Ah, Brand's got it. Nice. I'm slowed, so I can't quite kill this guy. I need a Q Ignite there to finish him. I'll just take his turret. Don't mind if I do. He should reset if he's smart. He's he's resetted to save himself thus far, so I'd imagine he's not going to just stay. Okay, yeah, it's 19 health. Imagine if he stayed. <laughs> The problem with building Malphi AP is you're too squishy. If you get ganked or if you just, they just get one good trade on you, you're too squishy to do anything. His base damage is so high on Q, being able to use it a few more times is more valuable than each one doing more damage on its own. Oh, this is bad. I'm gonna get my E down. Yeah, this is a weird fight. I'm looking to hit a big big R here if possible. There it is. It's a double. Hey Shaco Bako, baby! <laughs> Our damage is really high. Well played by my teammates for saving me though. This is dicey as heck. The Volibird deactivated his zero turret, which is a really funny interaction. Oh my gosh, I reacted too slow. I was trying to hit her with the Q. I don't think an E would have actually killed her there. Because good job for LeBlanc. Lost my Dark Seal stacks. From this point, we can really go for anything. We go for armor, magic resist. We essentially have an infinite amount of health, mana. We have some ability haste, right? With a shield that's already blocked 1200 damage, even though we just bought the item. Very cool, very balanced. The shield's bigger on our total mana. More than one enemy is nearby. So yeah, if there's more than one enemy and I slow or CC an enemy, I get a 432 shield. Holy crap. 432 plus our 270. It's like a 700 shield total. Oh man, we got so many item options. I'm thinking we just push for cheap crap like Frozen Heart. I really don't like Thornmel as an item. I think Malignance is fine on Malphite. I just wouldn't want to rush it. And the mana will be useful for the shield strength on Fimble Winter though. So is the Frozen Heart mana. Basically just stacking tank mana items. <laughs> or Malignance isn't a tank item, but you get the point. The em overall emphasis is on being tanky. It's this one right here. Azir's giga trolling me. Oh well. Got him with the Q. Got his attack speed slowed with E. Got him with another Q. EW. And they're not dying. He healed a lot. You saw he hit him with two W's. And he basically got all of his health back. I'm going to speed up away. He's pretty fast. Baron needed to wait. <coughs> they were still kind of chasing me for whatever reason. Nice. My, You can see my Fimble Winter's on a cooldown there. Oof. Oof. Got his attack speed. Nice. I got black eye back. Nice, nice, nice. <coughs> I got to sneeze in the middle of these fights. It makes no sense. My body's failing me. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Why do I have to sneeze in these team fights? Such bad timing. My key travel time's too long for me to get the shield from LeBlanc. Therefore, a projectile hits me. For those of you wondering, why don't I press Q? It literally won't get there in time. <coughs> I've been outside doing yard work all day, but I start sneezing now, hours later while doing a video. Makes sense. Got frozen heart. Maybe that's when the trees drop all the pollen. Can't tell you what's going on here. 
I'm gonna TP on it. They lose mid turret, baby. You know, R E Q W. He's ignited. My teammates did very, very, very little damage there. We're really four and two because I suicided on turret. Our score looks kind of bad though right now. Shaco split pushing. What the heck? Volibear is healing really fast off of something. I don't know what, but. She can reach me with an auto. I can reach her with a Q. She, her auto range is only 25 more than my Q range. Zero actually almost just died from that. Oh, this is bad. I gotta speed up away from this. This is a bad interaction for me. I just wasted my Q. In goes Brant. Kill the Wooly Bear. I, we kind of have to kill Caitlyn. Brand almost killed everybody there. If my R was up, these guys would be turbo screwed. I'll trade a bit. Try to get Caitlyn to step back up. We need to get away from uh, the Wooly Bear though. Get Shaco with E. It's the other one. It's right there. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Not bad. Brand did a lot there. So did Zero did a little bit at the end. Sprites are starting to turn around a little bit for us. Shaco's going to fall off. You do not, guys. I'll give you a hint. You do not go 80 Shaco when the enemy team has an armor tank like Malphite or Ramus. It's really, really bad. He'll never be able to kill us ever because of our W bonus armor. It's a big part of it. Plus, if we just build Frozen Heart, there goes his attack speed out the window. All of Shaco, 80 Shaco's damage comes from autos from him and his R. The block's kind of running around. I can get a 300 shield if he's alone. If she has teammates with her, then I'll get a 552. I'll stay. Oh, the line. Did she flash? It's that one right there. It's this one. It's this one. It's this one. And she killed me. If my teammates kill her, I'll say worth, but I don't think they're gonna. <laughs> Lucian, what are you doing, my man? He just kind of went off and fought somebody else. That's terrible. Uh, apparently I need some magic resist. <laughs> Billy of Wooly Blanc. I guess Shaco Dagger technically. They have no clue which one the real one is there. We get Merc Treads, whatever. They got LeBlanc Chain, Shaco Fear, Voli Stun, Kate Trap, Kate Slope. I'd much rather get the uh, plated. It's not meant to be. We kind of just need to pill for Bran. Voli can't go in and neither can Shaco if Bran's alive. And if LeBlanc jumps in, even if Bran can't kill her, he can immediately hit her with an E. And that is kind of just good enough. Wow, the E actually didn't go off there, I think. Or Bran just used the wrong ability. LeBlanc can jump back pretty quick. We need to go for drag here. Screw LeBlanc. Her damage is cancer right now. Got pe double penetrations. I don't have a whole lot of magic resist. Nice. I'm going for the R. It's a big knockup. Let's go, baby. I didn't want him getting on that split. I got him ignited. Brand needs to get away, though. He's getting a big self heal off him. Nice. Volibear is so freaking greedy. TP in the bush. Everyone said to give Volibear a big hug. LeBlanc one taps Camille from full health. Cool, cool, cool. It's not like Camille has a health item or magic resist. Two item LeBlanc. <laughs> Seems kind of broken. Dude, this champion makes no sense. Why won't she just like... Wow, what the heck? Wow, Caitlyn. Get out of here. These are mine. These give a tiny bit of ability haste. These infernal cinders, oh, I don't mind having them. I think each one gives 0.2 or 0.25. So if you can stay alive and have 20, 30 of them, makes a difference. My R is about to be oop. Next item is definitely gonna be Jack Show Malignants. Yeah, probably, or Kanik. Kanik would be insanely good too. 
with how the LeBlanc burst works. What is going on here? She's kiting them all the way out. Blanc's still not even three items. She's really, really strong though. Once I have Kanik, she won't even be able to handle me whatsoever. I'll basically be able to solo her and be full health. They're trying to run 1-3-1. One, one. Brand needs to go cover top. I'm, I'm resetting. They're clearly trying to split push. They're not trying to team fight anymore. They're not trying to team fight at all. So they're not trying to team fight. I don't even know if I should go for malignance. That might be kind of pointless. Group back up. Need to be careful of what's in this area though. We don't know what's in there. What's in here. I can match Volibear easily. I'll, I'll just match it. Or maybe we can kill it. Brand hits us slow. Oh, it's awarded. Oh, it's double warded. I caramba. <laughs> LeBlanc bot side. I mean, maybe we just do drag here or Baron. LeBlanc's not here. She's their most valuable player by far. I mean, I can tank this. I got, I got the armor for it. Good job for LeBlanc. I appreciate free barons. I'll R for Caitlyn. I'll R for Caitlyn. Ah, cute Volley. This is an issue though. Volley's not dying. Got the R into Caitlyn. She's back here. Slowed her attack speed. Down she goes. Yep, they just threw. And somehow LeBlanc died as well. Whew. We held on to R for a while. Kited the Volley Bear with the team. He figured out, oh wait, I'm not as tanky as I thought I was when the whole enemy team's hitting me. <laughs> we need some heal cut though. Thornmel sucks because even if I'm hitting Volibear, I can't apply a Thornmel. And he's never going to hit me ever in a team fight, so I can't heal cut him. It's probably Bran has to get it. Because he, he already got Abyssal Mask, so he's not going to want to buy another kind of weak item. We can't end here at all. I don't think... Might be able to get this turret. We should just leave. Oh, uh, I'm gonna die now, aren't I? Just keep kiting it back. I actually died there. Holy crap. The <laughs> blog's damage is crazy. We don't need to stay. We can just base and spend. More of them are alive than we're even alive, and they're playing with base speed up here. Does Caitlyn die? Ooh, the Dark Harvest goes off. Caitlyn dies. That's huge. Should have been drag fight now. I'm thinking Kanik. Kanik or Jack show. The only person who's really hurting me is LeBlanc. Caitlyn does nothing to me right now. Bully does mostly magic damage anyways through his items. Kanik it is. I can TP to this. This is zero resets. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll peel off the Volley Bear. I'll hit him with the slow. I'll R Caitlyn and she's coming out of my R. Then we'll attack speed slow her. So she's essentially knocked up for a second and a half. And then she's got attack speed slow by half for three seconds. It's basically four and a half seconds of CC against her. Meanwhile, I get a big speed up off of slowing the Volley Bear. And, uh,. Yeah, Volibear's going to be slow. <laughs> he needs to be. These drags are really useful. And the flame drags, when you have crit champs on your team, incredibly strong. It's also good for Robin on champs. I don't think Bran or this is are even going to get Robin on, though. Huh. I didn't even take off my shield. Wait, LeBlanc's playing the flank back here. Got off the Q. I don't know what this LeBlanc's kind of doing back here. She's looking for a flank. Got off the Q. Down she goes. She did trade though. I could kill Milio. Who 
Who's alive? Oh, it's just Caitlyn. <laughs> That's GG's. Got with E. <laughs> what a game. Malphite scaling is kind of wild for a tank. It's probably the single best non-support tank in the game. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were the second, or technically the third most damage dealt in the game. We were within 100 damage of the LeBlanc. I'm incredibly happy with that on a full tank to be able to do almost the second most damage in the game. Very, very happy. Brand did the most overall. For damage taken, our damage taken wasn't high, but I know if we look at self-mitigated, that'll change things. Self-mitigated, yes. Technically, Vali took the most in the game if you count self, if you count normal damage taken. If you count self-mitigated, I think we took uh, comfortably the second most damage in the game, so not bad. For runes high value. All in all, Malphite top. I really enjoyed playing with Rod of Ages. For me, there's no other way to play him. You never run out of mana. You can perma push down waves if you want to, not run out of mana. Spam Q every time it's up, never run out of mana. And you still end up with ability haste from the Fimble Winter, a Frozen Heart. And um, there's really no downside to the build because since it's kind of health heavy or early on, you haven't committed to armor or magic resist. You can still go for whatever you want. If you guys enjoyed this Malphite video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.